So here we are in the esophagus again, uh, looking at another great example of pathology that we see every day here. Uh, this is squamous mucosa, as you've seen before in the esophagus. And in this case, this patient was having endoscopy for follow-up of their reflux. And if you look around just a little bit, you'll notice that we are at the gastroesophageal junction because you have this gastric um, glandular type epithelium right next to the squamous epithelium of the esophagus. And off to the side, you'll actually notice that we have goblet cells within that epithelium. So goblet cells are these rounded large cells filled with this pale blue mucin and this is known as intestinal metaplasia or as we commonly call it Barrett's esophagus. So in this patient there's intestinal type metaplasia Barrett's esophagus that's seen in the context of long-term reflux. This metaplasia actually places this patient at a risk for developing adenocarcinoma down the road if he were to develop dysplasia in this mucosa. So this is an example of intestinal type metaplasia uh, seen in a patient with Barrett's esophagus and long-standing reflux. Uh, interestingly, this metaplasia is thought to provide somewhat of a protective effect because of the acid reflux from the stomach. Uh, that mucin that these goblet cells creates is thought to help protect although it is what eventually will lead to dysplasia and carcinoma in this patient if they're not followed carefully and treated.